Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to do an instruction video on the Rockstar Extruder for Solvo SV07. I have done a video on SV06, SV06 Plus Extruder. Three extruders are very much the same design, but with some minor differences, and connect the layout on PCB board a little different too. Let's briefly explain how this extruder works. The step motor provides rotation motion through the sun gear and delivers mechanical energy to planter gear set. There are three planter gears rotate around the ring gears, and the rotation on planter gears also bringing this carrier to rotate with it. And this small spur gear on the carrier will be rotating too. And the gear teeth just wrap the filament into the hot end to make an extrusion and retraction. So had made improvements on the SV07. There are two set screws on the spur gear that should be able to prevent the set screws coming loose over time. But I still suggest you to open it and confirm the set screw is fully tightened. But I will leave it for you to make decision whether thread lock is needed. Also, there's an easy way to just kind of do an inspection through filament tensioner. All you need to do is just fully loosen the filament tensioner so you can see the spur gear in there. If you can't see a spur gear, just rotate the extruder knob until you see it. Carefully put the allen wrench in and try to turn the set screw clockwise to see if it is fully tightened. But I still suggest the fully disassemble and do some inspection. Before you remove the extruder, make sure you take the remaining filament out of the extruder. As mentioned earlier, the extruder design is identical to SV06 and SV06 Plus. Besides, there are some minor changes among the extruder. Let's first remove the power cooling fan and bracket. Remove cooling fan cable connect to the PCB. Place part in secret, so it will be easier to put it back on later. Move to the side. Remove heat sink cooling fan and bracket. Remove the wire connects to the PCB. Rotate to the other side. Loosen filament tensioner screw. There are three counter sink bolts that connect to the PCB plate with the exuder. Remove all. Disconnect two cables from heater block. Remove two bolts on the heat sink step motor. There are very rich amount of grease on the gears. Press rod within this bearing and remove the planetary gear set assemble. Remove gear set and inspect the gears. Notice that unlike SV06 and SV06 Plus, there are two set screws on the spare gear, which is supposed to be work better and prevent set screw coming loose by rotational force and vibration. That's why I consider them might not be necessary to use a thread lock. Just inspect it and confirm it's fully tightened yet. Or you decide to use a thread lock. Up to you. Remove exceeding grease with paper towel. Craning the gear surface as necessary. Confirming both set screws are tightened. Pack some grease on the bottom rod. Place gear step back to the heat sink assemble.
You can put little grease on the filament tensioner gear if you like. Queen XD grease on the ring gear side. Let's put the Xerida symbol back together. Put two bolts back on the heatsink. Pull PCB plate back. Install filament tensioner. Connect wire connectors. Also, connect the wire back to the PCB. Place part cooling fan back on. Remove all the grease on the surface of the extruders. We can now mount the extruder back to the printer and run some functional checks. Also remember to redo the bat leveling before you start any print. Everything looks good and work as it's supposed to be. We are ready to go. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.